Hi submarine friends. Uh, welcome back to watching me build my diesel electric submarine. So I've been quite busy with the cooling system for this engine and I've tried different things and I've had different ideas and finally I have made a decision and I've built something new. The heat exchanger is fine. Having a heat exchanger is very standard on marine applications for sure. But I have an electric pump that feeds the cooling system for my air conditioning and my cooling the um, exhaust valve for the snorkel, like for that uh, exhaust to leave the submarine hull and it cools my exhaust uh, header pipe. So anyways, I don't think that pump can handle uh, cooling the heat exchanger as well. So I don't want to add another pump. I know that seems like a simple thing, but that's just more stuff and it's really, really easy to let things get out of control by adding stuff. So what I did is I'm kind of copying what the narrow boats in England have, which is a box heel cooler. So they just have a box welded to the side of their hull and one side of that box is exposed to the canal water and that cools the engine and there's very specific sizes and requirements and design criteria for that. So what I did is I'm, that's what I'm doing. I made a dual box cooler. So I don't know if you can see it right here and right here. So the coolant, the coolant leaves the engine, comes down this line, through this valve, into this side of the box cooler. Box cooler goes to the back and then there's a pipe going across that joins to this side. So the coolant comes back and then it, uh, it uh, comes through this valve and right into the bottom of the water pump. So, it can't be more reliable than that because I don't have to worry about a pump failing. I don't have to add a pump. Uh, and this just uses the engine circulation pump. I mean, how simple is that? So what I did, because this box keel cooler has to handle the pressure at depth, I had to make it heavier. So I used some six by one and a half uh, tubing and it has a 3 16 wall. Now 3 16 wall is bad because the heat doesn't uh, go through it as well as if I would have made one eighth like they do in the canal boats. That's okay. All you have to do is make the cooler bigger. So this engine needs four square feet uh, exposed wetted area to cool. So I actually have 5.7 square feet of wetted area and that should offset the thickness and also that's um, that's the size I need worst case scenario I'm in extremely cold water also uh, canal boats are sitting at the surface and I don't think they draft very much and you know when you go swimming in the lake in Canada anyways the top two feet of water are warmer because the sun has warmed that up. So as soon as you get below that two feet, the temperature drops dramatically. So this cooler is going to be four feet underwater when I'm cruising at the surface. So that's perfect. That'll be nice and cool. And then when I dive, if I have any concerns, I could just close these two valves and that isolates the box cooler from the submarine hull and actually that makes the cooler incompressible because it's full of a fluid it can't compress because the valves now are taking the pressure so that's a safety factor as well i don't want to have to close these valves though i'm planning to just leave them open all the time unless there's a problem or if i want to work on something i can close the valves so that's what i've done and i'm very very happy with it so that's my progress that I built this over the weekend. I was so anxious to do it, I worked through the weekend on it, including Sunday, and I usually don't work Sundays on this. So anyways, that's all I got to report. Ciao.